with routes that date back to the 1980s and the Yamaha Cero, the 2020 Yamaha XT250 remains relevant in the 21st century. Along the way, the 223cc motor grew to 249cc, although it retained its SOHC2 valve architecture, and it is still air-cooled. Other modern features such as fuel injection and dual disc brakes further keep the XT250 a usable motorcycle. At 32 inches, seat height seems a little high on paper for a motorcycle such as this, but the XT is so narrow at the seat tank junction that it is easy to firmly plant both feet on the ground. Probably the best thing about the XT250 is that license plate on the back. It opens the door to many more legal areas to ride than dirt-only motorcycles. Even though the XT250 is technically a full-size motorcycle, it doesn't feel that way between your legs, it feels small in overall size, and is one of only a few bikes like this that caters to newbies and shorter inseamed riders that is both dirt-focused and street-legal. Suzuki's DR200 quickly comes to mind, as does Yamaha's own TW200. The XT250 has a 5-speed transmission that works in harmony with the XT's power delivery, but you'll quickly run out of gear on the open highway, which, again for a motorcycle like this, is expected, 